Welcome to our session on the X-Band automated client review process. Since the pandemic, lots of advisors have been doing remote reviews, and this is a great way to take cost out of your business, make it an enjoyable experience for the client, and increase your efficiencies and profits. I'd like to introduce you to XPan, and uh, what we're looking at here is the dashboard. And on the dashboard, we can uh, have key information regarding uh, our clients that we're working on. And in this case, we've got a review coming up for Mr. Clarkson on the 29th of October. The review is um, linked to an intelligent workflow. XPan is very strong on workflow, and um, you can set up workflows in tune with your business process. So in this case, in terms of automating the review, we're going to involve the XBAN client portal. So we're going to send out a review questionnaire for Mr. Clarkson to complete prior to the review. So we have a heads up on areas of interest and any changes to the situation. We're then going to book the meeting and carry on producing the review, review pack and such and moving on to suitability. So a pretty typical advice process, which you can match to your particular process. So the first step in that chain uh, was to get the client to complete uh, their uh, review check-in. So Mr. Clarkson logs in to the branded client portal. This is available um, as an app uh, for additional cost or as the web application. Uh, it's, it's free of charge as part of the XBand package. So it's all branded up with your corporate colors and logo. And in this instance, um, we can offer uh, the client fact find. So Jeremy can check that his fact find information is all up to date. And it's designed to be super simple for the client to complete. So we have a number of sections uh, that they will look to update. And it comes with a, a client management system uh, so they can get an idea of what to expect. Uh, this is your wording, your tone of voice, so they can look at what they're required to do. And we're going to invite them to check um, the various sections uh, of information that we're storing in XPAN uh, about them. A few recent enhancements would include our open banking integration. Uh, so for something like expenses, rather than you have to get the client to trawl through uh, bank statements, uh, update their income and uh, expenditure details, uh, we can use the open banking to link to their bank account and it will scrape the information from the bank account and map it into some 180 fields with an X plan. The other thing we've introduced is a pre-meeting questionnaire. So again, we can get a heads up of anything that they particularly want to talk to us about. This um, comes in tune with the uh, review check-in. So this is uh, another way of doing it. Um, uh, this will resize to their tablet or smartphone device if they're using that. And again, prior to the annual review, we're asking has anything changed? So we've got their personal details, contact details, uh, any change to their family circumstances, any plans to move house, if their health a change in the last 12 months. If it has, uh, a pop-up book will occur and uh, the client can update um, any changes to their health. It's asking about income details, expenditure details, any uh, loans or mortgages, credit cards, and what we're looking for, hopefully, is um, some business opportunity. And in this case, uh, Mr. Clarkson's got another £100,000 uh, to invest. And we're carrying on with a few more questions. You can make this a lot shorter uh, if you wish, but this is about 12 questions. Any change to their retirement plans? Anything else they'd like to ask? And uh, being fairly topical, we might want to ask about um, crypto uh, currencies. Uh, and whether they should be getting involved in investing in, into those. So that then sends a secure message to you. Uh, the workflow uh, item is ticked off, and the next stage in that workflow uh, was to book um, the client meeting, uh, which we can do back in the, the client hub. So the idea of the, the client hub here is that you can see everything on a page, who's looking after this uh, client, uh, the key information, the contact details, and we've got the hub so we can send emails, we can look at what tasks are outstanding from the, uh, the workflows. And we're also, the next stage in, in the workflow was to, to book the appointment with them. So we go into the electronic diary. Now this is actually linking through to your Outlook calendar uh, or Gmail calendar. 
and we can put in the appropriate date and time of the meeting. If we want to do it remotely, um, we can do it as a video meeting. This will link through to your video conferencing. Typically, uh, Zoom is the, the favoured one amongst our clients. And that will send Jeremy uh, an invitation with all the instructions for joining the Zoom. The 29th of October is a few weeks hence, so uh, we might want to send a reminder to him uh, a day or two before. And uh, that can be done. That can be scheduled. You have many reminders if you want. It can also be sent as a text message um, if you think it's more likely to be read in that regard. And that's the appointment um, confirmed into the diary. And um, it will highlight any conflicts and such uh, if there are any. And you can search for a, an available slot in the advisor's calendar. Having done that, the workflow will move on uh, to produce uh, the uh, review report. And uh, this can be uh, either a pre or post uh, advice report, so depending on what you require there. And uh, Jeremy will get a notification uh, to go in and, and check the documents so he can look at uh, what's required to be signed. And this review report that we've produced uh, can be viewed uh, within XPlan. And um, it's all, again, all branded with your uh, color schemes and, and fonts uh, and choices. And um, it will then replay that to him if he's happy with the advice he's given. Um, he can consent to that uh, via digital signature. Uh, this is an IRIS proprietary digital signature, which is accepted by many uh, of the leading platform providers. And he simply types in uh, a six-digit code linked to his um, smartphone device, and that records it as successful. And you get a certificate um, to show his consent uh, to what we suggest. So that completes a short overview of XPlan and how we automate the client review process. For further information or a personal demonstration, please feel free to contact us.